Okay guys, welcome to another 10 minute mashup. Today's game is a football game by the late and great M1 Hughes International Soccer. Um, now this game, <coughs> excuse me, um, I think it came out about 1987, something like that. When I first saw screenshots of it, I was a bit like, are they for real? It looked exactly like international soccer that came out uh, on the C64 about two years before. I thought, how can they market this game as a new game? But I must admit, um, I bought it and uh, it's got a lot more depth to it. You can do sort of like different passes and that kind of stuff. Um, it's been a long time since I played it. It does have quite annoying music, which I'm going to attempt to turn off. Now, quite interestingly, they try to use this uh, sort of like mouse pointer thing, although you use the joystick to actually uh, to actually move. Now, I'm just trying to figure out how do we... Uh, ah, there we go. It's a bit of a cumbersome uh, control system. Um, let's put the automatic goalkeeper on. So you can basically pick what you want there. You can change points for a win, substitutes, auto goalie, kick direction, skill level. Right, so that's that. Pitch colour, you can even change the name of the colour of the pitch and that kind of stuff. Um, right, okay, so let's see. Arrange a friendly. Yep, so you've got Scotland and England. Well, obviously, it's got to be Scotland and England. Now, do you press Scotland versus England? Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I now need to change. Is it edit team? Well, you can even change names and that kind of stuff. Wait, we don't want to do that. Right, how do we get out of this? I'm not quite sure how we get out of this. Oh yeah, I appear to have uh, turned the music off at least. Ah, right, here we go. Right. How do we get back to this? Yeah, it's a bit... Ah, here we go. Right, I remember this. Now, do you just change it? I can't remember. It's not the... It's not exactly the most... obvious. Right, come on, how do we... Yeah, it's certainly a bit cumbersome, this uh, this part of it, but the thing that I liked about it is you can, uh, whoops, right, let's see, now it looks like I might actually be, right, it looks like I'm going to be England, ah, dearie me, anyway, let's go, yeah, on first impressions it looks exactly like uh, international soccer. But as we'll hopefully find out, it's actually a far, far better game. It's a bit quicker as well. The graphics are improved slightly. Not a hell of a much. Yep, now there we go. I am England. I can't believe I'm playing as England. Yeah, right away you can see there's sliding tackles. And you can also pass. Whoops. I think you can do back passes as well. Ah, bugger. Come on, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It looks like they've crashed. Right, 
Right, I haven't a clue. Something has gone amiss here. Right, I'm going to pause it and resume back into. Okay, right, I had to restart, um, and I've figured out how you actually do it. You basically you double click. It's like a mouse. You double click to kind of accept options. So you can see there, um, things have been restored correctly. Scotland is now controlled by Meme Meister, and we're playing the old enemy. So let's crack on, and hopefully it won't crash this time. Now, even the sound's actually pretty good in this game, so I'm going to try and shut up and let you hear the, the chanting. You can also do headers as well, I think. Now I'm actually playing this. Oh, foul. Um, yeah, you push away on the joystick to sort of kick the ball up the way. Now the computer is on the easy level, which means they're probably just going to walk about doing stupid things. Which is probably why that last game crashed. None of the computer opponents actually wanted to throw the ball. Come on, get into him. Ah, bollocks. Now what I liked about this game is, you can probably see there the ball went off at an angle, but if you hold in the fire button it kind of charges the kick and then you can then hold the joystick in a direction and it will uh, it will basically, uh, ah damn it, it will basically kick that ball, the ball in that direction. So you know, it's the international soccer, all you could do is kick the ball in a diagonal or you know in a straight line, but this actually allows you to to sort of angle it. I did play this game quite a lot back in the day and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. It was probably, I mean believe it or not, it was probably the best game, um, football game until I was reckon. Definitely, I mean Sensei Soccer, it took the, uh, the crown of best football game bar none and that stands even now. Um, but it was the best football game for a long time. Come on, run for the ball. Chase it. No, 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 no. Ah, bollocks. Oh, I'll throw in. That'll do. Yeah, it's all about passing in this game though. Now what would be handy... Ah, shit. Would be if there was a, a radar. I don't think we had that back then. You can see they even jumped up. It's actually a surprisingly deep football game, considering it's on an 8-bit computer. Um, and it's nice and slow paced, so it does allow you to try and build up. Ah, shit, you just blocked my pass here. It was always uh, very, very sad that Emlyn Hughes, I mean, I wasn't particularly keen on the guy, but uh, I did watch him quite a lot when he was on uh, Question of Sport, yep. That programme that's got bloody Phil Tufnell and whatever the guy's name is, English rugby player. Emlyn Hughes was actually on Question of Sport back in the 80s and he actually came across as a right decent guy. And it was very sad when he, he passed away. Was it cancer or something he died of? He was still a young, a young man. Come on, 
we need that goal. <laughs> Just kind of got a shot in. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. Now I think you get, you do get two halves I'm sure in this game as well. Sure you, oh there we go, five minutes, alright okay. No, no. guys keep it tight just retain possession a nice wee pass there oh, come on that was should have been yours what I liked about this game as well is you could actually change all the names so you could have all your pals playing as well and the throws actually used to Oh, stunning. Ah, and he loses it. Oh, too much. Oh, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, <laughs> bollocks. Yeah, the sound, even some of the sound effects are pretty good. Now, I know this game was ported for the 16-bit, but I don't think I ever played it in them because, uh, well, yeah, the 16-bit came along and then Kickoff came along and then shortly after Sensible Soccer, which just blew everything else out of the water. Oh, you twat. Jeez, that. <sighs> yeah, although it does seem quite pedestrian speed wise, I says it's actually good because it allows you to kind of try and build up a move. Now, come on. Even the wee sound effect when the goalkeeper runs up to kick the ball, you get oh, well, not quite as good as that sound, but right, come on, don't let that in. Whoa, 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 whoa oh, dearie me, clear it. Come on Scotland, pick the ball up. Yeah, there was no such thing as uh, being able to sprint or anything. Ah! At least he forces a save. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh! Penalty. <laughs> Not quite. Ah! Hey! 
Right, I don't know what's going on here. I've scored and uh, it seems to be freaking out a wee bit. <laughs> right, I've absolutely no idea that the game appears to have crashed. Obviously it's not programmed for Scotland to beat England. Anyway, it's, you can see there, the time's counting down, it's 4 minutes, there's 45 seconds to go. And uh, it looks like Scotland's going to win. I think, uh, obviously, the game has been uh, abandoned due to violence or something. So, anyway, guys, listen, that is it. That is the end of the match. This is Emlyn Hughes International Soccer on the C64. Hope you enjoyed watching it, guys. And, uh, as usual, thank you for watching. <laughs>